I've missed you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Organize Mess. This is episode four, okay? It's 2020 and we're pushing through. If you're new here, welcome and um, <laughs> hopefully you stay. If you're not, what's up? Thanks for coming back. Um, today is a special day. I have worked on something in the past month and I'm ready to show you guys. I made a Masego poster. Yes, I painted it. It's my first hand painted poster that I've done either ever or in a while. So here it is. Okay, this is doing it absolutely no justice. I'm gonna put a picture of it around here somewhere. Yeah, I made a Masego poster, very random. I feel like I've been a Masego stan lately. And I just needed a concept to make a poster, and it was just like, <laughs> make a Masego poster. So, it worked out. So, um, I would like to share my process with you guys. If this is something that you're interested in, please give uh, this video a like. That would be cool. And um, if you want to see how I created this poster, then keep watching. Okay, so the idea that I came up with was Masego Live at the House of Blues. I felt like that worked, you know, like he's like this jazz player, but you know, it's like jazz, but not jazz, you know, trap jazz, whatever. So I just felt like House of Blues would be a nice, I feel like I could have got a good concept out of it. After I thought of the concept, I wrote down, you know, little icon versions of what I thought I wanted to be in the poster. Some basics of course is Masego and his saxophone and you know different elements of a live show. So then I went down to Masego details you know just to kind of sell the fact that it's Masego you know like some things that I feel like people that know his music could recognize and it could sell that it's an actual poster for him. Just some Masego touches to a Masego poster. And then I wrote down some design factors that I knew I wanted from the beginning. I knew I wanted a very high contrast, like a, like a, I, I wanted the scale to be very dramatic. So I wanted something to be, to take up most of the space of the page, and I want something to take up not so much of the space. Um, I also thought of the colors, you know, I wanted it to be at the House of Blues, so I was thinking, you know, more like a purple, like a blue, like very deep colors black of course and um, white as accents so after that I decided to just get my first ideas out of my head you know the, the 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 thing that you have going on in there already but you just you're not sure how it's gonna come out on the page yet and I didn't like any of them and that kind of got me like oh like whoa like I don't know what you thought was gonna be good is not that good then I was like you know what Cool, you got your first stuff out, let's do some research. I went to YouTube and I went to the Futures page. I searched a video that I saw before but I wanted to re-watch it. It was a Game of Thrones competition that they did. They told their subscribers to um, pick a house and make a poster. I enjoyed it the first time and I enjoyed it the second time too. It just kind of gave me a baseline as to what are the little pieces that make a good poster. So they talked a lot about scale, cropping, a second read to where it's like, you know, you don't give all the answers right in the beginning. You kind of want to have the user work through it and try and figure out things and not give too much so I really benefited from watching that video the future is a great place for you to go if you're a designer or a creative they give really valuable content so check them out if you want after that I was like alright I get it kinda sorta let me hop over to Masego's YouTube and let's see what he's talking about over there okay so I went there and um, it was cool um, I like these videos a lot um, the ones that I liked the most were the ones where he was making beats right there on the spot, like, you know, kind of built it up and made a song out of a song that he already had. I feel like that speaks to the type of artist he is, so, um, I got to see, you know, what 
the piano look like, what the little beat maker look like. Um, and I got to see his demeanor a bit more. That's what I was really looking for. I was looking for just... I don't know, just getting a Masego vibe because I wanted to put that onto the poster. And I got to pull out some more details that I didn't initially get from the beginning. His like broad shoulders, that he wears shades, and this like saxophone necklace that he wears. I didn't have that down at first, so watching those videos kind of helped me pull out those Masego details, and that was cool. And then after that, mm, Favorite, favorite, favorite part, favorite, favorite part. I went to Pinterest, Google, I went all over the internet and I started looking at vintage jazz posters. What I noticed about them was that they weren't super detailed, they're very graphic. And that's right up my alley. They had very bold colors, um, thick lines, there were shapes, and um, they're pretty interesting. So. That helped me get, uh, you know, the style of what I wanted. The first one that I drew, I liked a lot, you know. It was um, based off of one picture that I found. And then I tried to, like, make his face, and I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to do that. It wasn't cute, I'm not going to butcher it. So I'm just going to go back to this form of him playing the saxophone. It's kind of like this, like, lean type thing. So it just, it worked out. I just felt like I could exaggerate that, and, um... I didn't want to add too much detail, so I didn't. I had my idea of the graphic Masego form that I had. You know, I had to play around with it a little bit and see where I wanted on the page, but I couldn't just have that. And I kind of reached a stuck point of, okay, <laughs> what else am I going to do? So I went back to my poster research and I saw this exaggeration of something coming out of the saxophone. I played on that a little bit. So I started to, you know, make these little lines and just kind of have it flow out. And with doing that, I realized that the curves that I was making kind of looked like a silhouette. And it just made sense to me. <laughs> I feel like he makes music, I don't want to say for women. It's probably definitely for himself but you know I think that a good amount of his fan base are women so why not and I ended up liking it I thought it looked really cool I ended up um, sketching it out on um, a piece of paper it ended up coming like this and this was a great start for me I really liked it <laughs> part one's done I was like, oh, you have, a, you have a long way to go, okay? Still got colors. I wish I could be done at this point, but I'm not. 